And I'm watching him in his press conference. I said it on Monday. I, I think Antonio Pierce is the first NFL head coach to have studs in both ears. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't think we've ever seen it. I looked, George Hallis didn't have it, I no. thought. Maybe Tom Landry. Lindy Infante did not, Ted Marchabrota did not have earrings in both ears. So I like the style. Tony Dungy? Tony Dungy did not. Damn it. Right. Uh, these guys, these guys are playing, for it, obviously. Okay, they are inspired. I, I saw a story this week. Robert Spillane, Jim Tomsula, and the Jim Tomsula did not have two earrings. Uh, Robert Spillane. Spillane's got the I visor totally out there. Dang it. You know the visor, yeah. Spillane? Yeah. yeah. Spillane broke his hand against the Lions. Okay, go on. Okay, put a cast on it, fixed it. Played against the Giants four days later. He's like, I'm not missing this awesome. game. That's what they got going on here. The vibe, and it's like. I don't know if you guys watched the game. Aiden O'Connell can spin it. Like, this guy can throw the rock. I'm watching this game. It's like, oh, so this guy can ball. And there's Josh Jacobs, and he can run. The Raiders suddenly have, like, an offense. And I know you could say, well, the Giants came in here, and they didn't have Giants defense pretty darn good. Wick Martindale's a pretty prideful guy. They lit him up. Uh, Tucker, the third-round pick out of Cincinnati on the deep pass here. I... I, these guys were moving, they were playing, and then you get to the locker room afterwards. Instagram Live is going on. Mm -hmm. Crosby's got some. Look at this pass by O'Connell. I mean, this is a bomb. No. Yeah. Instagram Live is going on. They are smoking cigars in the locker room. Crosby's going locker to locker. Yeah. Everyone's at 11, and it's like, well, that can't be sustainable. No, I get it can't be sustainable. But when you're having fun and playing football, that is sustainable. Mm -hmm. And they want to play for Pierce. And they apparently want to play for O'Connell. They're young. They have no expectations. Oddly enough, it's the same exact storyline when Gruden was blown out. And they brought in Basaccia a couple years ago. Mm. They played the same way. Young, free, no expectations. And they went to the playoffs. They've got a lot against them right now. The Jets... Jets might not be one of the, the reasons why they don't make the playoffs. They could beat the Jets. This offense was humming. I know the Jets uh, have a very val you know, valuable defense, and they're mm -hmm. very good on defense. This Raiders team is riding something cool right now, and I, don't tell me it's just X's and O's. There's some intangibles going on as well. There is a loophole, though. There is one coach who has worn double studs. Joe Gibbs used to do it back in the day. No, he did not. <laughs> Ray <laughs> Hanley did not if, wear earrings. If no. Dion ever gets back, does Dion, Dion have the double studs? You know who would might maybe do it right now? Mike McDaniel, I can see, with double studs. Okay. What do you think about right. that, Joe? Who's a coach who would wear the double stud earring? <laughs> Raheem Morris. <laughs> yeah, Raw would wear it. Okay. Get yeah. Raw back in there. Who knows? McVeigh has a kid now. Just got crazy things Ooh. going on in his household. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a school in my ear, but yeah, yeah I like it. It's got a J for J. It's good. It's good. All right, I also got this tribal tattoo. Things I like. Yeah. yeah, the next thing we need now to get double studs is we need a coach who looks like Max Crosby with <laughs> yeah, tattoos. Like, I want that. Two things I like this time of year. Okay. I like a schedule flex. I love it. In fact, I, I like it a little bit more right now. Nope, sure. not this week. Nope. I'm sure Herbie and Al would love one too, but too late. Um, I love the interim coach process. I'm fascinated by what happens, and there's the firing, and the new guy comes in, and it always goes like this. There's this jolt of electricity, which he was just talking about. It's so similar to you get out of a, a, a terrible marriage, and there's a divorce, and the Raiders got a damn divorce from Josh McDaniels, and it was nasty, and it was contentious. And that interim coach is always like your rebound relationship, your rebound fling, whatever you want to call it. It's fun. There's energy. It's like, wow, you do that? Like, oh, great. <laughs> I haven't had that in a while. Like, it's like, it's awesome. And that's how the Raiders were acting You last do week. that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, Contact it can be guys. like this. I'm, I'm like, Andy Dufresne, this is amazing. <laughs> so they almost, I feel like they almost always win. And of course they won last week. However, the worst thing I think you can do is like that rebound relationship. You're like, this is so fun. Let's get married. Yeah. Like, it, it almost is never a good idea yeah. to marry the interim coach. To, and I have, I have facts. Uh, in the last decade, when an interim coach wins that first game, which they, I feel, usually do, <laughs> in the next game, they're 2-8. Two 2-8. and, eight. Two and eight. They almost always lose. Yeah. There's a come-down factor where it's like, all right, we got it out of it, and we went to the, you know, to the, we went, went away together to Cabo, and we came back, and like, oh, now it's real life. Now we have to actually finish the rest of the season. I wonder if they'll have that lag. And Antonio was talking about his press conference. It's like, yeah, it's not a, about energy. Now it's about football. If they come out flat, and like, now it's not about proving Josh McDaniels wrong and rallying behind this guy. It's like, well, now we have just a regular old football game against a team with a really good defense. And as good as Aiden O'Connell looks spinning it last week, he Peter, like, it, man. he's going against Quinn in at Al. We'll see. I'm very interested in the energy the Raiders have. If they win this one again, they're the very, very rare team that starts 2-0 with an interim head coach. 
if I was a betting man, which I'm contractually not, I would go on the Jets this weekend, just based purely on the facts that the interim coaches lose the second game because the energy comes down. Well, to both of you guys' point, Josh McDaniels was tough to play with, you know, and uh, talk to people inside the building. It was just a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you said they celebrated and you were talking about, you know, just coming off a high. Well, how I think they're feeling, uh -huh. to quote the phenomenal munchkins of munchkinland. Come on, let's go. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch, oh witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Wake up, you sleepy head. Rub your eyes, get out of it. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. She's gone where the goblins go. Below, below, below your hole. Let's open up and sing and ring the bells. Wake up, the merry -o. Sing it high and sing it low. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. Listen. Wow. Every word. What this is how they're feeling. This is how they're feeling. The wicked witch is dead. We can finally sing. And then the Munchkins lands, they threw a, they threw a whole party and sure. ran up the they yellow brick road. And they stuff. had lollipops. Poppies. And they brought, they, uh, brought her on stage. And mm -hmm. they gave her this big plaque. And it was just, listen, that's how they're feeling right now. Amazing. Okay. But you got to keep playing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you got to gotta keep Oz, playing. Right? You're trying to get to Oz. And, yes. Yellow brick and road. Listen, yeah. on yeah. the way to Oz, there was a lot of ups and downs and struggles, wow. and the schedule is going to get tough after this. Unbelievable. So as much as I love the Raiders, what we just seen, I don't believe it's sustainable. Can they win games? Can they beat the Jets on Sunday? Meh, probably. But then you got the Chiefs coming to town. You still got to play all these other top teams. Ah. I'm going to say no. Did you ever play for an interim coach? Uh, yes, in uh, Carolina. Remember, we fired Ron Rivera. Yep. Mm. It, mm, Who'd you have? It didn't go over well. Uh, I can't even remember. Steve Wilkes? Coach. No, 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 no. Steve Wilkes wasn't there. Mm. Steve Wilkes McDermott was, was gone. Yeah. Right. No. Who that is. Um, Adam well, Morris, look that up. I think Dorothy <laughs> wore the double stud, actually. <laughs> yes. Dorothy <laughs> would have the run. Double room. Hey, 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 the... <laughs> We represent the okay. lollipop guild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I think they had double studs too, but listen, <laughs> those muskets from Muskin Land, listen, I guarantee you that's how the Raiders were feeling. Like. They're next yes. to a poppy field. Like, we, you know what yes. poppies go to? It's not good. Like, it's, they, they, they were, yeah. they, were looking for a, they were looking for a leader, a kinder leader. Sure. You know, and so Antonio Pierce, I, I feel like last week was like contact high from getting out from underneath whatever was happening with Josh McDaniels. Whether or not he was doing it the right way, the wrong way, he believed his way was the way to do it. Sure. And that just did not transpire in Denver. It did not transpire well in Las Vegas. And that's cool. But, man, the body language and the emotions that this man exuded was not sustainable in the bad way. I mean, clearly these guys did not feel free. They did not laugh. They were not giddy. The Antonio Pierce experience is interesting because that – and I, the, the word behavior is also very judgmental at times. But the, the, what we saw from the Raiders after the win with Antonio Pierce, if you lose a game and you got guys on Instagram Live and smoking cigars or whatever, it's, then that becomes like calling into question. Like, Coach, what are you allowing to happen? Now, I'm thinking of like the Red Sox and the chicken and beer situation mm -hmm. from mm. years ago. It's like you things are great when you're winning, but like you, you either have to keep winning, which is going to be hard in your division, which is darn near impossible against the Chiefs, or – you have to tamp this down. I don't think anything that's happening, what we saw last week, is sustainable for the Well, Raiders. they won't do it if they lose, right? If you, I guess that was the whole th that was the whole issue with the Raiders or with the mm -hmm. Red Sox back in the early 2000s. Was like I remember that story. If it was being allowed to happen after a win, and it was still just like lackadaisical, and like this is just how we hang, and this is mm -hmm. how the locker room is run, I think guys will take it, and especially if it's the exact opposite of Josh McDaniels and how he ran the show. No doubt. Um, that was a, that was really impressive. It's I just want to like say that again. I, I was ready to the first one line, first. Yeah. The whole damn thing. Yeah. I love the Wizard of Oz. Who doesn't? Yeah. Right? There's loving it, and then there's knowing that song. I mean, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Right. I thought you'd tape her out after the first couple of sure. lines. This is amazing. Oh, no. No, it was the best part of the song is like right in the middle. Peter, the I, oh, be Peter I appreciate oh, your yeah, dedication to professionalism song. and not dancing. I did not dance. You kept your... I'm you not know, dancing on Josh McDaniels' grave. Right. I'm a friend. You know, I was just dancing it. to the song. Um, <laughs> but Peter thought like that. Well, it wasn't Josh McDaniels. It was the Wicked Witch. We were dancing about the Wicked Witch, not Josh McDaniels. Perry Fuel was your interim coach. There you go. Do you remember that at Every all? Adam Lawrence had it. Right. It's it's yeah. Coach. Yeah. Coach. Um, I can see you made an impression. Yes. We did. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. Great. Uh,